Uh, hi guys, this is Banu Prakash. Welcome to Cloud DevOps course. Today, the, the topic of discussion is Hygia dashboard. And in our everyday day-to-day -day activities, we are having many queries. Like, is the Sonar Cube up and running? Is the Jenkins up and running? What is the status of Jenkins job? How many JRAs are open state? How many JRAs are in the work in progress? How many JRAs in the closed state? To see and to answer all these queries, we need to navigate each and every tool and then try to look into the status. What if we can have a single dashboard to fulfill our requirement? So that's why to solve such problems, Capital One came up with a dashboard called Hygia. So in DevOps and Agile methodologies, many tools are coming up, either open source or licensed. So in the Hygia dashboard, it can provide the dashboard view of all these tools so that we do need to navigate each and every tool. And in the HIG dashboard, we have three components. One is team dashboard, product dashboard, and executive dashboard. I can relate team dashboard to an engineering team, product dashboard to a manager, executive dashboard to a top level layer team. And what is team dashboard like? It's kind of single streamlined view of all the DevOps pipelines. Product dashboard is nothing but it will display the multiple applications in a single illustration. And executive dashboard is nothing but it's a macro view of DevOps state of maturity and risk across a wide range of product portfolios. Basically, it will display the performance metrics, which are very useful for the leadership team. Now let's look into the team dashboard. It has main three components. One is widget view, pipeline view, cloud view. Widget view is nothing but individual tool configuration and its dashboard. So if you wanted to see JRA related information, that is one widget. And if you want to go for Jenkins, that is another widget. That is called as widget view. Let's see what is widget view. So if you see in the screen, the left side feature option is there that describes about JIRA. The bottom one is code repo that describes about Git. It can be either GitHub or Bitbucket. In the same way, build option also there that is related to Jenkins. It has builds per day, average builds duration, total runs, builds, you know, and the latest builds. All the stats are displaying in the dashboard. And if you scroll uh, here, quality that is related to Sonar Cube scan analysis. And uh, the top right corner, you can see monitor that is related to URL application monitor, whether the application is live or not. And you can see deploy, which environment the application is deployment, deployed. In this way, you can configure all of your widgets. Widgets are nothing but DevOps tools, so that you can see all the status in one view. Pipeline view is nothing but, it will show, so uh, all of the different environments, which environment the application is deployed. So it is basically code progression through each component's life cycle in the software delivery process. And if you go to cloud view, either you configure AWS or Azure, it depends on your environment. It will be able to display how many instances are there, what are the running instances, what are the stopped one, and what is the approximate EC2 cost per month, and what are the IP utilization, what are the instances age, how many days back these instances are launched. All the metrics you can see in the cloud view. Now let's go to the product dashboard. So product dashboard is nothing but it display multiple applications in a single illustration. This is mainly used to, you know, used for the manager's view. So you can see this, there are three sample applications, one is Tetris, Galaga, Pong. And the respond, uh, you know, corresponding metrics are displayed here. So which uh, uh, environment, dev, QA, uh, INT, performance, or a production. So all the metrics are displayed here. Let's see the architecture overview of the Hygia dashboard. If you see here, there are a couple of major layers which I have highlighted. UI layer, API layer, collectors layer, DB layer, and respond, corresponding DevOps tools. UI layer is nothing but the user interface which are you going to open in the browser. API layer is nothing but 
it will give the data input for the ui layer and it will get, gets the data from the mongo database collectors is nothing but it will gather the data from the respective devops tools which you are going to configure it can be jira or git or sonar cube or any other tool db layer nothing but here in our case we are using mongodb and all the data will be stored in the mongodb let's see what it is about executive dashboard it has main three items one is portfolio products and components portfolio means it's kind of dashboard it's a relationship between the senior executive and the products that they manage and the components under each product it will display in the dashboard so if you go to second component called products it's kind of, it's like a list of all the products or applications under a portfolio it will display that information and third one is components all the components which are associated to the respective product can be displayed in the respective dashboard in the portfolio if you see all this will be connected to a configuration management dashboard so that it can pull the details like organization structure of your company list of products owned by that executive the components under each product you can say different persons here jim halpert pam besley these are all the names which came from the configuration management database respect to that organization this is how the portfolio dashboard will look like and if you click on the portfolio respect to portfolio it will show what are the products he is handling and if you click further on the products it will show further details about the respective metrics of each product and what each how you know the red color and green color symbols they display the progression of that product and respective metrics and the components so this components also is kind of unit of software that is a part of a larger product or application this screen which you are showing here it can list all the components under one product in a portfolio and gives a breakdown for the metric value and you can see the graph 96 total violations violations so this representation is the number of occurrence of an event it can be an incident or a violation so it you, you can see the time range also from the past 90 days let's look at the executive dashboard architecture it comprises the same components of team dashboard only the difference is that it pulls the data from confirmation management database that that is a respect to the company now we have ui layer api layer collectors layer and db layer so i found the hygie dashboard is very much useful in the devops and agile methodologies we are using it can be used for the developers or engineers or managers and even top level management thank you